I didn't call her a hoe. Now, what they saying about your girl on the block is what they saying. About <laughs> I didn't have any encounters with that woman, so. What are you doing? I'm ready. And I'm ready. Make sure y'all don't like me. Tell her friend, tell her friend to tell her. What's up, great though? So, come in, like the country, like so, dude, it's so nice. Okay. RB gang, 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 gang. Entertain you and kept off your night. Just like the boomerang, you come by. Better hit that bell off, we gon' have a fight. That was a joke. RB gang, we taking off. Good morning, good evening, good night. Hey, what up, Bree? What up, Ray? Hey, hi. I did that. What up, YouTube? What up, guys? I'm Bree. And I'm Ray. And we're back at it again. Back at it again. <laughs> Stop it. we back at it again with some bulls. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> you about to blow something doing that. Y'all heard it here first. We back at it again with some bulls. As always, as always, yeah, guys. Today, guys, we got a, a few things to address. You know what I'm saying? The first thing I want to address is I want to know why Damo is blocking people who is supporting Mila and Chrissy. Why can't we all just I don't look? think she's just going our way to block people. I don't I think that they're they're either tagging both of them or something like that. I don't think Damo is just going to find. Them. I don't know. But even if she is, she don't want to see nothing that got to do with them. Like okay, I see. But them. what if it? But first of all, okay, pause because I saw one in, one thing in particular that made me, you know, feel some type of way about it. A girl made a tweet that had nothing to do with Damo. It was to Mila, and it, I guess it was just like you she know, Mila was fine, something like that. Something. But why does that why does that bother you to block her? So maybe Don was following her. And was like, following Mila? No, the girl who tweeted that, so she seen it. It was like block. I don't want to see this on my timeline. Cause if that's the case, I don't want to see. If I don't want to see nothing that got to do with my ex's new new girl. I mean, I wouldn't care now. Cause you know I'm past that. But but if Don was trying to keep all positivity in her life, or she not trying to see none of that junk, then I'll block you too. Period. And even if she is going on her way to make sure she blocks all the haters in the world and all those. But they're not a hater. Is, why can't she? Why can't that person support both you, parties? You can't. You can't. At this point, it's come to a side choosing. There is no. Why? Because why? Because I mean, I love, I love Damo. That's you know, that's my baby right there. But I mean. I mean, I don't really care for Chris. Exactly. There's no, there's no support in both. But like, I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just looking at, but I'm supporting them because I look at their stuff. You don't look at it to, to support them and put money in their pocket. You I mean, true, I'm looking nosy. at it to be nosy, but that's still putting money in their pocket. Because yeah, if I watch a video concerning them, that's putting money in their pocket. It's just you being nosy. It's not, it's not because you care about them. Because I can't stand, I watch Chrissy stuff. I don't watch nothing she puts on YouTube, but. I don't like her, on YouTube her social media. Yeah. I see all of that stuff. I follow them all, but that's because I'm nosy. But I really can't get down with Chrissy no more. Like, I just don't really care for her at all. And I'm on Damo's side. So I'm not. <laughs> this is what it is. Like, but I follow Mila too. I follow her too. Just because I'm nosy. But what if Damo decides to block us because we over here supporting them? I'm not supporting them. I'm watching because I'm being nosy. I'm not gonna sit there and tweet, oh, Chrissy fine, or ooh, Mila fine. Well, or, she not, and she not either, because, I mean, I'm not attracted to that. Neither. But still, I'll tweet Damo fine, because Damo popping. But I'm saying, right. So, Damo ain't got no reason to block us, but if she got every reason to block people who be talking about Chrissy and Mila, like, oh, they fine. Okay, what if we were fans of Chrissy? Well, we not. So, we can't talk about the what ifs, because <laughs> we're not. I don't know. I don't know who, who I would choose between Mila and Chrissy. Probably Mila, because Mila's smart. Mila Smart. How, where are you getting this from? Oh, you said if we was fans of Chrissy's. I said I might be her, a fan of Chrissy's if she got a new girlfriend. But then I changed my mind. Because I just can't stand Chrissy in the way she carries herself. Hmm. <sighs> Anyways. Hmm. So, guys, we're about to do a reaction to... Mila kind of started some beef with, with the mans, with the bro, with the with DZ. DZ from Studology. Or, I mean, I, if she going by Diamond now. You know what I'm saying? With Diamond, bro. So, you want to see this video real quick. Mm-hmm. Let y'all know how we feel. Oh, what is good, Diamond Dynasty? Period. She Thank always you. naked. <laughs> well, we couldn't do no stuff like that because we always together. I wouldn't want to see her with my boobs hanging out. <laughs> Baby, y'all know what the fuck going on in this goddamn video. As y'all can tell, 
by the title of the video, you guys already know what we are going to be getting into, okay? We're going to dive in, Trey Song style, okay? We're just going to... Uh, uh, uh. My face. <laughs> anyway, guys, so y'all already know what we're going to get into today, guys. So, as you can tell by the title, Miss Mila J did send me a DM, guys, all right? So we're going to go over the details of this situation, guys. I feel like... Most of the time, majority of the time, I have her back. And sometimes when I don't need to or I shouldn't, I be having Chrissy's back, you know? I be, you know what I'm saying, like trying to defend them both because I try to see both sides, you know? I might side with Damo on some things. I might side with Chrissy on some things. Or I might just understand the dynamic of the relationship, how shit is happening. Like I said, I've been the bad person in relationships before. I'm not scared to say that. I'm not scared to admit that I have been the toxic person before, okay? I have been the ain't shit ass nigga. I've been the fuck nigga. I've been the nigga who ain't shit. I've been the lying ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? We all have these. All of the above and probably worse. I've been We're the not perfect. Who made a dumb decision? You know what I'm saying? I made plenty I'm dumb decisions. Is that right? Is that nigga? I'm, that nigga, okay? I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. I'm the hard headed ass nigga that has to fall on my motherfucking face to learn to life learn lessons. Something. Okay? You better just how I preach to the nigga. Okay, my name is Diamond because <laughs> been in the rough. Bro, what does a diamond have to endure before it becomes a diamond? It has to endure pressure. You have to apply pressure to create a diamond. Okay, you start off as we're a diamond. Okay, we're in charge right now. Being a diamond with enough pressure, guys. And throughout my whole life, I have had different instances of me being in situations where I'm put under fucking pressure, guys. I don't know what the deal was, y'all, to be honest. What are her feelings? But what I'm, I can say up. is, hey, um, her feelings? I don't feel like Miss Mila J is a bad person, guys. I just feel like she's young. I feel like she's dealing with a lot of people How old are they? coming at her. Like and I feel like she just does not um, want to be judged. I mean, they're younger than her. She's almost 30. Because... When you're dealing with somebody high profile, you have to deal with everything that comes with that high profile person, you know? All right, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So, we're going to go ahead and get into the first message, all right? I'll appreciate it. I'll appreciate if you stop talking bad on my name. Let me check my DMs to make sure ain't nobody trying to pop off. Hold on. What? Because I want somebody to slide in my DMs and say that. Who you talk? First of all, who you talk? Who you talk? Uh, face. Who are you talking to? Stop. To? talking bad on my name okay so at first when i first received the message i'm gonna let y'all know exactly what i was thinking i'm thinking in my mind because we had a previous conversation before right so i'm thinking okay maybe this is just maybe it's a fake ass account okay this, uh, I, you know what i'm saying because i don't ever talk shit about you so what you talking about so i go to the page and shit go to the page and i see okay so this is the real miss mila j all right so i come back to the message you're gonna circle i like it, it. And I said, wow, huh? what, <laughs> what bad did I say about you out of curiosity? What did I say that was so bad, my G? What was it? I would really like to know at this point, okay? What is it? Because if I wanted to drag somebody, I really could. But all it would have took was, hey, man, like, I've been hearing that you've been talking down on me or whatever the case may be. Is that true? Totally different scenario than hey man or or I'll appreciate if you stop talking. You know what I'm saying? It's two different. If you thought that was cool to come at me that way, I didn't think it was cool though. But it's all good. Like I said, it's all love on my end. I'm not mad about the situation. You say you're not mad. I'm glad that you're not mad either. She says all love. I'm not mad or anything. I'm just kind of fed up on being the bad guy. And I understand, man. It's not easy being in the public eye. Like I told you, it's not easy being scrutinized. Your every fucking move. You know what I'm saying? You can't have a regular relationship with your girl because the whole world is against your motherfucking girl. Everybody is calculating every single step that you guys make. That's now, exactly what it is. It's not me. Look, it's Chrissy. Like, like you know? we just don't like Chrissy. But that's what you signed up for too. You know? Yeah, but once you're done, it's like that's like me. That's like if so. Never mind. I ain't gonna get into it. I'll bring up R. Kelly. For this message, back in December, when the mugshot got released, and I felt like it was so wrong for people to come at her like she was a fucking like like she robbed the bank or something, and made her look like she was a fucking 
uh, like she got 14 felonies or something. Made her look like a fucking criminal, you know? She's and I, I, like, I told y'all in the previous does. video that I had put out this video and I had DM'd her. Shot. And I said, do all the hate you getting, just know real niggas still got your back and don't judge you off of prior convictions. And I sent her that video, all right? This was just last month when all that shit happened. She said, I appreciate it. I'm a real strong person. I've been through a lot and I have thick skin. But I'm just trying to be strong for Chrissy. Thank you for the positivity. So, just last month you were telling me thank you for the positivity. Now you're saying that now I'm such a bad guy. Now you're making me look like a bad guy. Now you're projecting the bad guy shit onto me. Like I'm the bad guy. Like I'm talking, like I'm dragging you and Chrissy. You know what I'm saying? Like if anything, yeah, I got jokes about both of y'all. I don't mind you roasting me and having jokes about me. You know what I'm saying? Me and my niggas joke around all the time. We roast each other all the time, you know? So maybe you felt some type of way or maybe like you said, it's just getting to you. All the backlash that you're getting and all the hate that you're getting from just people in general when you just trying to have a relationship with a woman that you love, it can be hard. Maybe it's hard for you to deal with that pressure. I get it, you know what I'm saying? But that's why I'm saying don't come at me crazy. <laughs> When I'm the nigga, I'm one of the only niggas who be trying to have your motherfucking back. Even Chrissy. Even when I know Chrissy done done some shit like, uh. Boy, how many videos have I done to where I'm like, damn, Chrissy, I be trying to have your fucking back, man. I be trying to have your fucking back. But now you done did this. Now I got to try to think of something else. Oh, maybe it's because, you know, Chrissy just, you know, she didn't have her Wheaties today. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she like Raisin Bran and she she had Cheerios instead. You know what I'm saying? She had on there Raisin Bran at the crib. Maybe that's why she's upset. But at the end of the day, like I told you, man, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 1,000 about how I feel on every situation and every subject. Don't ever feel attacked or that I'm dragging you just because I'm giving my motherfucking opinion or because I put fun here and there. I ain't never the type to make somebody out to look like a monster, my G. That's just not my style, like I said. And that's exactly what I said. Either way, like, message. she's just a messenger, okay. though. Like, she's, she, she, all she's doing is reacting to shit that's, up, like, you know, and posted. That, and it ain't like she's, saying, like, digging up stuff saying, or speaking okay. bad about it, so, you know what I'm saying? This is how I said it. <laughs> I feel you. I've been there. Don't feel good being a bad guy. But at the end of the day, the only person's opinion that matters is your own, okay? And that goes for everybody out there. Anybody who, you know, if you feel like you're getting shitted on, you're getting bullied, whatever the case may be, look, the only fucking person's opinion who matters is your own so you gotta be your own motherfucking best friend build your own motherfucking confidence up and don't let nobody shake that shit okay um can't nobody make you feel no type of way unless you allow them or you give them that power all right so i say of course i joke around and make my videos entertaining but i ain't never drag you or chrissy if anything i'm page. giving you both the benefit of the doubt i always try to see both sides unlike these other drama channels you did come to me as an adult, but you didn't come to clarify. You came to try to check me, LOL. At least that's how I took this. And I ain't the one to be checked, especially when I be taken up for you. And that's what I mean, bro. I be taken up for you. And you try to come through my DMs and try to fucking check me on some shit, which is not checkable. It's nothing to check. You know what I'm saying? So I say, I'm going to always speak my mind slash opinion, but I ain't never going to make anyone out to look like a monster. Y'all know that. That ain't my style. Tell moms I appreciate her having my back, though. That's real. It ain't easy being in the public eye and dealing with so much scrutiny, but it comes with the territory. You got to know that, man. It comes with the territory. If you ever want to address anything, hit me up, but come correct so we can have a mature conversation. Now, mind you, I'm not saying that our conversation was not mature, but it didn't start off that way because of the way she came at me. That's why I said, come and be correct if you ever have an issue in the future so we can have a mature conversation. We had a mature conversation after we got past the initial stage of the conversation, right? Then I feel like everybody, both parties started being level-headed, you know? I said all mean? love over this way as well, all right? So that basically was the conversation, guys. She did read it. She did see it. And if you're watching this video, Miss Mila J, look, I ain't got nothing but love and respect for you and Chrissy as well. I always have. I feel like I've defended you guys, even when maybe I should. People thought I was stupid. People to trash my name started hitting on me for taking up for you guys. 
in the past. Um, first of all, Mila did come a little, you know, thuggish at her. So, I mean, she could have came a little better at it, but I mean, I would have came hard too, though. No. I would have came hard about it because if somebody, if I feel like somebody is speaking bad on my name, I'm not gonna respect you. I'm not gonna give you respect and I think that I'm being disrespected. Don't slide in my DMs on no shit like that. Oh my god. Like what? At the end of the day, I feel like DZ, you know, you did a good job at handling it. Excuse me? <laughs> you was real mature about it, but also that comes with age, because I mean me and Raven are kinda young too. And if somebody slid in our DMs like that, it probably wouldn't be. I'm gonna like, send them a picture just the like that. I ain't even gonna send you a picture. I'm gonna send you my location. Pull up. The fuck? Pull up. We'll be sitting there waiting. The fuck? With her face like that. We'll yes. be standing there waiting. Like, I gotta understand. Like, what are you talking to? But that was a mature conversation. I don't know. You Mila, right. I'm gonna grow up. I don't know when I'm gonna grow up. Mila, you gotta understand. It's not you. It's who you dating. It's really not. Like, don't. Because I think that, I mean, you you would probably be. Mila could cool probably be like a bro. Like, she could be cool. Yeah. You over here doing your music thing. And it's bad because, first of all, you didn't have social media before her. So now it just seems like you're just in it for a quick come up. This is your girl, bro. But we yeah. don't nobody on the block like your girl. You gonna hear about it. Yeah. And then you gonna try to defend it. Then you gonna look like a bad guy because you try to defend your girl. So it's like, what do you do? Save face for yourself hey, or look, defend your girl? I've dated a, a hoe who's been around the block a few times. <laughs> And all my friends had something to say. So, why you just gotta let things go? I probably like she a hoe. Exactly, because that's exactly what it sounds like you're implying right now. Yeah, that not, she was a hoe. I didn't call her a hoe. Now, what they saying about your girl on the block is what they saying. About <laughs> I didn't say it. I don't have any. It didn't come out your mouth though? I didn't have any encounters with that woman. So, so what's she doing with her free time? What's she doing with her free time? But the yeah. whole situation is messed Their whole situation is messed up. Like Chrissy is never going to be able to live a, a decent, smooth life because of how all of this went. Like, I, feel like, we still, like I said, I feel like she'll live a smooth life if she was to just. But we still. And we all still. But you gotta think, we all still going off of like siding with Damo. So when you got all these people that's on the side of Damo, taking Damo's side automatically, we really don't know the exact truth of anything. Cause there's three sides of a story. Damo's, Christie's, and the truth. So we ain't never gonna know the truth. I mean, I understand, but I mean, I don't know. Some of these receipts is looking pretty, you know, in D Damo's favor. You know, so it's just like, it's like, Chrissy, you just look like you crazy. We'll and, you, and you might be, but if that, if you are, they're not I like to just be. own up to it. Just, I'm, just if, I'm crazy. If Mila and Chrissy not meant to be, that job will unfold very soon. <laughs> it's gonna unfold. I don't know. It will. Maybe she found her, her, her soulmate. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be devil's advocate, you feel me? I'm like, gonna, I don't care for Chrissy, but I'm on Mila's maybe, side. maybe Chrissy found love. When they break up, I'm on Mila's side. Oh, I, I'm on Mila's side. Even if, even if Mila's playing Chrissy right now, I'm still on her side. Mila, if you, you know, you playing the girl, good job. That's I wasn't going to say that now, but. I'm going to say good if, job. If Chrissy Because you playing, was making a come up. You was making a come up and you was nobody before. No. Yes. If Chrissy played Domo to come up, then I think that she should get that. Because Karma's a... a but we not Karma, so who am I to say? It's like Karma do her thing. But we not Karma. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell all of them. We want to thank you for sitting watching the video. It's more to come, I promise. Hit that bell and leave a comment, though. Say you want the content, well, we deliver like dominoes. You smell what we cooking. If you can't show it, go clear your nose. We had you laughing. Where's Khalifa hot with no smoking? Please don't watch the video and eat shit. You might choke. Notification squad, we looking where you at, though. R&B gang over everything. We lit, folks. Go ahead.